Hello everybody, welcome into my kitchen. As you see, I'm doing the cooking indoors. The winter has started and these days, every day we have rain outside and it's quite wet and also getting cold. That is why I decided to do the cooking inside. Today, I'm gonna to make you some lamb biryani. As you know, the lamb biryani is one of the most beloved dishes in the whole world. People, they love Indian food and definitely they love biryani. Regardless if that is chicken, lamb, or vegetarian. Basically making lamb or chicken biryani or vegetarian biryani is the same. The only difference is one of them takes chicken, one of them takes lamb, the other one, you add some vegetable. They are almost the same, the same way, the same spices, the same way you cook, and everything is the same. This lamb biryani I'm making, I'm gonna really simplify, and you will see how easy that is to be cooked at home. You should not be terrified of making this dish at home. No, it is not science food, it is just food. And you can easily make it, and you're gonna love it. The ingredients we need for this dish are few spices, some vegetables, of course, lamb, and some rice. The rice, as you see, it is pre-half cooked. If you wanna see how to cook the rice in my previous videos, you can easily see and find them. A couple of thinly slices of onions. Let's just start. We need about two pounds of lamb, and I'm gonna clean this lamb and basically cut it to small cubes. To clean your meat and getting rid of the extra fat and the silver skin, it is quite easy. Basically grab your knife, go underneath the skin, hold the tip up the way I do, and go down, ah. Oh. You can see, no meat whatsoever. Not necessarily you have to clean all the fat from your meat because when your meat has a little fat on it, it cooks nicer and the taste going to be a lot tastier. We're going to cut the meat about as you see, they are about two inches and quite nice. I place the lamb in a bowl so I can marinate it. We need some garlic and some ginger. I have already minced some ginger and I need about two teaspoons of ginger. Also about six cloves of garlic. Two, four, five, six. I'm gonna add some oil on the top. We're gonna mash the whole thing. And put it on top of your lamb. Two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of Kashmiri chili, and this is dried sweet chili, it is not hot two teaspoons garam masala, some hot chili flakes, or half a teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons of coarse sea salt, juice of one lime or one lemon, about four or five ounces of yogurt, about two ounces of vegetable broth. Mix the whole thing and let it marinate for about half an hour to an hour. It is going to be up to you if you want to marinate it overnight, you can marinate it overnight. But I'm gonna marinate it for about half an hour. And while I'm marinating this, I'm gonna do my sauteed onions. I'm going to add about two ounces of olive oil and two fully thinly sliced onions. Also about one to two teaspoons of turmeric. 
and few bay leaves. I'm going to add also a little bit of Kashmiri chilies, about five or six cloves. Two or three cinnamon sticks, about five or six cardamoms. Some slices of fresh jalapeno. I'm going to add the jalapeno slices between the rice while I'm cooking it. Definitely the onions are ready. Now we're gonna start on our rice. Very small amount of butter. We have to put the rice, lamb, and the sauteed onion layer by layer. Some rice, the lamb, and the onions. Again, rice, lamb, and the last layer, I put the onions on top of the rice, not on the meat. Also, I'm going to add some saffron. It is brewed saffron. Also, four fluid ounces of vegetable broth. So the vegetable broth can produce some steam, and the steam can cook the meat better. Definitely some butter or some ghee on top of your rice. I add about two ounces, put the lid on and start cooking. Also the sliced jalapeno goes on top of the rice. I'm going to cook the biryani for about an hour and check it, see how it is. Our biryani has been cooking for about 45 minutes or so. Meanwhile, we are waiting for the lamb to be cooked nicely. I'm going to make you also a nice onion salad. It's Indian style onion salad. It is extremely tasty and it goes very well with this dish and you're going to love it. And it is just basic onion. That's it with a couple of more ingredients. Look good. The lamb looks nice and tender, but let's try it, see how it is. Oh my God, yes. Perfect, it is really perfect. For our onion salad, we need one onion, very, very thin slices. Let's just slice two onions, because one I don't think is enough. Two onions, some cilantro, like fist full of cilantro. Also juice of one lime. Couple of pinches of chili flakes. Also some coarse sea salt. I'm gonna add about two or three pinches of sea salt. Perfect. It's absolutely nice and tasty. Also, we need some slices of scallions or green onions to garnish our biryani. Our biryani is ready. Let's dish it up. It is extremely beautiful. I mean, I can't say it enough how the aroma is. Looks good, the rice is cooked perfect, the lamb is nice and tender. Let's garnish it with a little bit of cilantro and some scallions. As you saw, making a lamb biryani was absolutely easy. You don't have to have different scales and different items, different everything or spending days in the kitchen to make that. No, you can make it in a matter of no time. Now in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna eat this dish. I'm gonna show you how nice and tasty it is. 
and I'm sure you guys gonna love it. Make it at home. As you saw, how easy it was to be made. Did not take that much time. Always you should try to simplify your cooking. If you can do that, you can cook anything, anytime you want, as much as you want. The smell, the aroma is excellent. The lamb is cooked perfectly. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I hope it was good enough for you to give me a thumbs up right here at the bottom of this video, please. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, subscribe because I do need your support. And I try my best to come up with more videos for you. For the garnish, I also put some boiled eggs around it. And that is something they do in Indian restaurants. The rice, oh, fluffy and perfect. Holy moly, lovely, lovely. And the lamb, perfect. It's perfect. Again, don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. And please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and wish you guys were here. You could try some of this with me, but I know you're gonna make it at home. Thank you, see you later. See you later.